Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna taste two brand new whiskeys from a distillery in Tennessee known as Jack Daniels. But before we tiptoe into these two distillery series releases, we must first dive headfirst into talking about today's video sponsor, Zbiotics. What's so special about Zbiotics, Matt? Super happy you asked, Matt. If you drink a Zbiotics before you start drinking alcohol, guess what happens? The next day is great. Zbiotics is a 15 milliliter pre-alcohol probiotic drink that you put down the hatch before you start drinking alcohol that makes tomorrow a good day. In order to access all the abilities inside of Zbiotics, all you have to do is have a Zbiotics, drink responsibly, and then enjoy tomorrow. How does Zbiotics work? Well, I don't exactly know. Scientists figured it out and they genetically engineered it. They figured out that dehydration isn't the cause of feeling like poo the day after drinking. After you drink a Zbiotics, it starts doing scientific stuff in your gut that helps break down the byproduct of alcohol immediately. So after you've had a nice evening and you go to sleep, Zbiotics is working in your gut and doing all the heavy lifting. So when you wake up in the morning, you're like, I could do some heavy lifting. Get yours before the holidays. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Click on my link in the description below. Use code ADHD at checkout and you'll save 15% off your first box. Now that we've talked about today's video sponsor, let's talk about two brand new releases coming from the Jack Daniels Distillery. We have not one, but two releases, and they're both rise at 101 proof. We have a straight Tennessee rye whiskey finished in high toast maple barrels, and a straight Tennessee rye whiskey finished in high toast oak barrels. High toast maple barrel, America. High toast oak barrel, America. <laughs> Nailed it. Both of these are limited editions. The High Toast Oak Barrel says, aged in charred white oak barrels, then finished in our proprietary High Toast No Char Oak Barrels. High Toast No Char. Gonna give the High Toast Oak Barrel a little bit of an SJ, a little bit of a spin job, a little bit of a swirl job, a little bit of a spinneroo, a little bit of a kangaroo. That's not true, it's not a marsupial, even though I'm gonna put this thing in my pouch. Oh, the high toast rye definitely smells like rye whiskey, like it was filtered through a Belgian waffle. It's a little breakfasty, it's a little oaky. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I'm not a ginormic fan or a ginormous fan of toasted barrel bourbons and toasted barrel ryes. So this might not necessarily be up my alley, but what I'm gonna say is what I'm smelling inside here is very nice inside this glass. It's like a rye whiskey with a little bit of furniture polish. Like if you had one of those end dust things, if end dust was made with rye whiskey and you're just like <laughs> to dust all of your furniture, all of your wood furniture, high toast down the hatch. Ooh. That is that's a toasty bugger. The more I taste toasted rye and toasted bourbons, the more I realize that the toasted rye are better than the toasted bourbons. The toasted bourbons get a little bit varnishy or like a little bit smelling and tasting like wood stain, where the finished rye have more of a furniture polish to them. And I prefer furniture polish over wood stain. By the way, I didn't even mention this. Thank you, Jack Daniels, for sending these. These were sent from Jack Daniels, by the way, before I say anything else, I need to get that out of the way. Thank you, Jack Daniels, for sending these. Jack Daniels is awesome and they always hook me up with their new products, their newest releases, they always send them. When I got these, I was a little bit skittish. I was like, uh-oh, what if I don't like them? And then I thought to myself, if I don't like them, I'm just gonna tell you. because guess what? Jack Daniels is awesome, they don't care. They got a million kajillion customers out there who don't give a crap what I think. But I digest or whatever. It's definitely finished. It's definitely secondarily barreled. 
It's definitely been rebarreled, that's for sure. The high toast barrel kind of overtakes this a little bit and it becomes a little bit bitter. It does become a little bit bitter. I'm not bitter because they did send these to me for free. If I purchased these for like an exorbitant amount of money, I might be bitter because it's not my favorite. This reminds me of a fireplace. It's a fireplace whiskey. It tastes like inflamed, engulfed, whiskey soaked, toasted firewood. It kind of tastes like a Christmas fire. Christmas fire. The Jack Daniels straight rye whiskey finished in high toast barrels receives a score from me tonight of 7.1. It's good. I'm allowed to say that it's not my favorite because I don't absolutely love toasted barrel ryes and toasted barrel bourbons. They're not my favorite, but this is good. This is good for a toasted rye whiskey. I do like it, but I don't think I'll be going back to it a lot. So 7.1, it is a good toasted rye whiskey. Moving to the straight Tennessee rye whiskey finish in high toast maple barrels, it says, aged in charred white oak barrels then finished in our proprietary high toast no char maple barrels so the difference between this product and the first product is not the char or the toast it's just the type of wood that the secondary barrel was made out of this barrel was made out of maple wood where the first barrel was made out of oak. Hand crafting each barrel allows the oak and maple staves to influence our award-winning rye whiskey. Moving to the maple barrel. Giving it a spin job, a little SJ, a little swirl J. Little ride on the tilt-a-swirl. The Gravitron, mom. Oh. Okay. When I first opened them, I much preferred the oak barrel finished toasted rye but revisiting them weeks later and i think that i honestly prefer the maple finished barrel nose the maple barrel finished rye is more what's the word um huh i'm trying to think of the word it's a hard word so hang in there i think the maple barrel finished nose is a little more complex it's a little bit darker, whereas the oak toasted finished rye was a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit darker. It has like more of like a little bit more molasses, a little bit more mahogany, even though that's not the right wood. It has a little bit more leather to it and maybe like a date, like a date fruit, like a soured date down the hatch. Okay. Oh, all right. The maple barrel finish is a bit chewier. It's a bit more viscous, a bit thicker. It does have a bitterness on the back end, just like the oak toasted barrel. It doesn't thrill me to like extreme limits. I'm still not a ginormous fan of it, but I feel like this maple barrel finished one is a bit more to think about. It's a bit different. I think that if you tasted the toasted oak version of this rye whiskey, you would find that you've tasted stuff similar to that before. Whereas the maple barrel finished toasted rye whiskey is a little bit different. It kind of throws you for a little bit of a curveball, a little bit of a slider. You know what I mean? Kind of like off speed pitch, something maybe you weren't quite looking for. You were expecting the heater and it came in a little bit at like 73 miles an hour and you were like, good grief, I was out ahead of that one. What in the world happened? Strike three, I'm out, right? Go back to the dugout shaking your head and thinking about what happened for next time. It's not exactly crazy complex, but it is more complex than the oak version. It's like an oaky syrup was drizzled over this rye whiskey. The rye notes on both of these kind of stick out a little bit in kind of a piney, foresty sort of way. You're getting some like woodsy notes, some definite woodsy notes, like you're sprinting through a Christmas tree field 
just letting all the branches hit you in the face as your bully chases you with a ginormous snowball. But on top of that, on this one particularly, is a bit of a thick, sweet, and spicy, in a weird spicy kind of way, syrup that kind of thickens the whiskey up a bit. I'm gonna say this, if you love rye whiskey, and especially if you're into the secondary barrel, the toasted, if you're into toasted rye whiskeys, this one and that one, they're both for you. Both of these are gonna be directly, directly up your toasted alley. I prefer a double oaked charred rye or a double oak charred bourbon over a toasted rye or a toasted bourbon. I don't think I'll ever put a toasted rye or a toasted bourbon in a great category. So if it's good to me, that means it's gonna be great to somebody who likes that flavor profile, if that makes sense. The toasted maple Jack Daniels finished rye is gonna receive a score for me tonight of 7.3, 7.3, a bit higher than the oak, which was a flip-flop from when I first opened these, but I think that the maple finish is a bit more complex, a bit thicker, a bit more viscous, offers a little bit better of a finish, and is overall a more enjoyable pour. If you do like finished ryes, if you like the toasted rye whiskeys, I think that if you come across these, they're a definite buy. There's something that you should look into, definitely taste if you're at a bar and they have them for an offering, probably order one of each and see what you think. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed already, then what are you waiting for? It hurts my feelings knowing that you haven't done that. But if you haven't done that already, but you do that now, I will forgive you. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Do you like toasted rye? Do you like toasted bourbon? What's your take on these? Thumbs up, thumbs down, are you neutral? What do you think? Are you a toasted rye fan? Let me know in the comments below. This was a fun video. Thank you Zbiotics for sponsoring it. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on knowing that ham is superior to turkey in every category except whiskey. I know that there are some people every year, including Josh from Stuff and Whiskey, who tells me all you gotta do is cook the turkey right. You just gotta cook the turkey in a specific way. You gotta make the turkey right. Come over to my house and I'll show you a good turkey. How dare you not have a good turkey? Well, listen here, Josh, and other people who say that. If I fudge up a turkey, it's gonna be terrible. If I fudge up a ham, guess what it's gonna taste like? Delicious ham. A little bit of friggin' brown sugar? A little bit of pineapple? All the sodium? It's so good. It's so good. Ham, superior to turkey. So if you're afraid of deep frying or baking or split cocking or whatever the heck you do to a friggin' turkey, making a turducken or a tur friggin' sucking, whatever you do to a turkey, if you're afraid of doing it this year because you're afraid of screwing it up, then do what I do and don't make a turkey, make a pig, a ham.